Um, listen, as promised, Amy Hopkins is back in the studio, and we said we're going to show you how to make this beautiful nut and seed brittle that we used in our Amasi Caesar salad a little bit yes, earlier on. Yes, and speaking of Mother's Day, as we're saying this is a great meal, this is also such a lovely gift. I mean, if you look at how beautiful this is, you can basically make this and kind of break it up and yes. pass it as a little present, and it's really, really easy to make. So as you it's can really, see It's really, really delicious as well, because I just <laughs> had a piece, all right? It's amazing. I'm glad. Um, as you can see over here, we've got some lovely almonds, some cashew nuts, some sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds. Right. So all really good for you, lots of good oils, lots of good fats. Yes. Um, and what we're going to do is just sprinkle these all over a tray. And normally what we would do is toast them a little bit. You can also use them raw. But yeah. um, for the recipe, we are just going to make everything together here. Right. So what you want to do is just kind of spread them around. We have already just sprayed um, this, this baking paper with a little bit of spray and cook, just so obviously it doesn't stick yes. once we make everything. So you just want to spread everything around a little bit. and okay. um, make sure it's evenly mixed. There we go. Sorry, the OCD. <laughs> The OCD, I mean, it's got to be there, you know? Fine. <laughs> we'll give it a proper stir, a proper stir. <laughs> so what okay. you do is toast this in the oven at 180 degrees for about three minutes. Right. Take it out, and then you said you picked up on a little bit of a bite. I picked it up. I was like, Joe, there's a bit of a scoop there. Right? You know, it's a bit of a bite. So we're yeah. going to add some dried chili flakes. You're just going to gently sprinkle this over. And it's such a great combination because the Brilliant. heat offsets that sweetness from the honey. Yes. So unlike a lot of other caramels, you don't really Careful, need to... Look at how beautiful those bubbles are. That's yeah. how you know it's ready, by the way. Okay, those bubbles so are going like quite that. slowly and it started to caramelize a bit of a darker color. Brilliant. Um, another, reason, another way to tell if your um, honey, which this is just 100% honey, yeah. if it's ready, is you can take a little bit of it and drop it in some water and it'll okay. become brittle immediately. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just pour our lovely hot syrupy honey Let's all see over our tray. So, okay, so obviously this. be very, be careful. very careful. Do when not you burn are your this. fingers. <laughs> That's it. There we go. It's very hot as you can see. Yeah. So we're just going to gently kind of pour this all over. Look, Oi, at, look that. at that. That is gorgeous. And this will set by itself. You can just kind of leave it... Um, Aside, obviously yeah. in a safe place, you don't want to get any of that hot brittle on anything. You still have to kind of just stir it around a little bit. You can just kind of stir bit. it very gently, and you can already see it's starting to get nice and sticky. Yeah. And you just want to get all of that stuff together. Look at that. Just kind of give a little bit of a mix and a swirl, and already thank you. Pleasure. No, <laughs> you have to do whatever something, I can do right? to help, it's good. <laughs> That's it. So there we go. And now you can just kind of let that. Um, just let that sit. Let that sit. So, so you let it down, How you cool it down, that? it's going to become brittle. Exactly. And as you can see, some of it's nice and thick and chunky. Um, if you look at our ready-made product over here, you can see we've got some lovely, you know, thick, chunky yeah. nuts all together with those seeds. You can obviously use a variety of different nuts and seeds in your yes, mix. Yes, Even yes, put yes. in some cranberries or something. But I think the honey gives it enough of that sweetness. Absolutely. And then, as you can see, you can sprinkle this on salads. You can serve with, you know, with coffee or tea or something. Put it and in it's a nice a, little glass jar exactly. with a ribbon around and it. And I mean, it's, it's gluten-free. It's dairy. Very free. It's you know. <laughs> Just the way she says that. it gets so excited. <laughs> so. The keyword is treat. As is that to three three seven two eight. That's treat to three three seven two eight. Mm. If you want to get your hands on Lovely. the recipe and also link it to the recipe and ingredients list, you can also log on to our website expressoshow.com a little bit later on today mm. to to find that recipe. But man, that is a oh. treat indeed, mm. Amy. Lovely. She's enjoying it there. So I'm not going to ask <laughs> you anything further. The keyword is treat. As is that to three three seven two eight. I'm going to get in here. Sure. Sasco, baking together since 1930.